Hey guys and welcome back to the harsh and unforgiving world of post for them which is getting a little bit greener and rosier and just a little bit nicer all round thanks to my continued efforts to try and bring back life to this barren rock that we call the world. Uh, so between episodes I've been a, a little bit busy down here. I've kind of tidied up the place and, and made it look a bit nice. I don't know what's going on with the ceiling. I don't know what's going on with this transition. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this chest. But all in all, I think I'm headed in the right direction. I think on the other side of this, I want some sort of, like, show farmland out there. Something that looks... Like, all swanky and stuff. Now, you can hear a spider out there. I don't know whether this is going to be the spider... Whether the spider is going to be where I'm going. But, end of last episode, we saw there was a cave down there. So I just spent quite some time getting myself some steel armour together. Uh, again, the steel stuff from uh, Mechanism being my choice there. Because, like, you know, iron ingot for iron ingot. I got more durability out of it or something like that. But, down there, there seems to be a hole. And I would like to go... And see what is down there. Oh, oh! Of course, that's what's down there. I'm currently blind. That's that's not great. Okay, well that that was a good start. All right. Well, this might lead. The, ah, this might indicate what this cave actually is. Yeah, I've got a feeling this is actually just the silverfish hole. Uh, I'm scared yet. No, I'm scared. I'm very scared. Okay, well, it's just a few silverfish. It's just a hole. That was a little bit anticlimactic. But, thankfully, this is not all that we were going to do today. We were going to do some other things as well. One of which is, if I just run my way all the way up here... Oh, before I leave this room, I just want to try something. These corners have been annoying me for a little while now, so I just want to put something in them. I was going to put fence posts, but unfortunately... Yeah, that looks good. Unfortunately, there is no fence po uh, dark oak fence post in the pack. There's like uh, a dark plastic that could be used. I don't have an axe on me at the moment because I've just gone underneath the, the stairs. There is a dark plastic could, that could be used, but I don't think that looks quite as good. Plus, I don't have... Um, I don't have access to that sort of stuff. So yeah, that, that kind of looks alright. That looks a lot better than what was here. Okay, up back upstairs. A grand day has happened. We have finally run out of power in this machine. Oh, and I've got a load of stuff in here. We're going to clear all this out as well. Uh, which means that I should be able to hit it with my pickaxe. Hopefully. There we go. So we can now move this. Uh, the same is true of this side. Well, I've got 3,000 in it. I need to uh, decompose some stuff to get it back down to zero. That triglyceride is actually what I want here. In fact, 3,000 stuff it. I'm just going to break it here. We're going to go over here. And this is the area that I thought I would start keeping these things in. You know what? I'm going to get rid of all this lot as well. It, it is unnecessary. Uh, I actually don't have an act. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. That's fine. Okay. So... I think I need some sort of ledge to put things on. Dark oak looks like a good choice, mainly because it was already in my inventory. Um, there we go. We'll do it like this. I think we might actually end up using stairs. In fact, I've got a stair here. So if we do this like this... No, that's that's not quite what I wanted. Um, try again one more time. If we do this like this... There we go. We get a little table design. Uh, so we can then put... we got the decomposer so i think we want the decomposer on this end because with like the conduits and stuff like that i'm hoping we can offload stuff into there uh the next thing I, we want is the iron furnace which i have left here uh can we break this with our pickaxe as well i hope so yep no nope, good great brilliant uh i think we're going to want the battery as a buffer that that that's something that i think we want as well uh so we're going to pop the battery in there uh, furnace on top. It's going to be a similar um, similar layout to what we had earlier. And the chemical synthesizer can go here. I don't know what we're going to be able to do about pulling stuff out and pushing stuff in. Uh, that's just a way. Right, so this area here looks a bit drab, a bit rubbish. Uh, hopefully we're not going to have any silver fish while I do this. Uh, we could definitely use a bit more room on the roof here. Uh, but I'm not sure what we're going to do for the design around the outside. Uh, obviously it's got to kind of play well with what we've got going here. It needs to merge into it somehow. Uh, and maybe even under here we'll be looking at some limestone soon because obviously we've got it. Let me just come down here. There. So... Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, so, let's get into the quest book, because obviously we want to do a few things here. Maybe I should put some 
chemicals away, but we want to do some things here, so let's have a look and see what's going. Uh, the life rebooted. I've decided we're going to leave this for a little while. I mean, just for today's episode. We might end up doing these water water ones just to try and get some of the sprinklers in system down below. But all this is going to take a while, and this one's just going to be a lot of crafting. I don't know if you guys want to watch me do the crafts for all these individual things, um, because it's just it's literally just going to be lining up the right items and pull them out the the bench i don't know uh you guys let me know about that i'm going to scratch my head about what we're going to do in this area here and maybe come back with a with a pretty project because we like pretty projects or i do anyway uh so i'm not sure if this is a problem or not so i've got the uh, the setup here going like this i've kind of swung this round. i thought it kind of fit in the space a little bit better the problem here though is i can't get to the redstone energy cell to make any adjustments to it I'm not sure if that actually matters or not. I mean, as it is, I mean, I want to take most of this out to go for, like, some sort of decoration. Maybe we want to leave the andesite in there. We'll, we'll do something with the andesite here. Maybe chisel it up and get something going on. So there will be uh, a way to access it, like, right now. Like, I could set it up to power through to the two machines, and then everything will be all right for a moment. At least until we go for the next configuration of this room. Because I, I've already started thinking about where we're going in the future with this. And let's be honest, this is not going to be enough room to do stuff in. Uh, so what I think is going to end up happening is this is going to get 90 degrees sort of that way so that we can have this lined on this side of the room have like a collection of the elements in the middle uh some some chemicals on one side some chemicals on the other uh maybe something in the floor i don't know and then a whole bank of machinery down the side all feeding into each other as it needs to do uh but you know that's a little way off in the future now i think uh we're just going to carry on taking some of this out uh yeah right now we've just got this little little alcove to worry about make it look pretty enough to actually just be a passable part of the base we are trying to make it so there is not too much natural generation on show here uh in fact we will take this andesite out i know i decided i didn't want to but i've changed my mind again okay so we need like a trim block along the bottom i'm gonna Ooh, those gas. I think I'm going to go with a bit of cobblestone at the bottom. Uh, I've been making quite good use of this uh, detailed cobblestone brick. So I think... Oh, oh that's, that's sad days. Uh, we might actually have to power this up before we actually do anything. All right, I'm going to throw some power in here while we throw some other blocks around. And we'll have some, uh, have some power to go... No, we won't because I haven't set this up properly. Okay, so if that one is this side okay we want to do that side Ta -da! this is the synthesis machine I wanted, them to, I wanted to have them the other way around oh well no shame uh, no problem no problem uh, so let's fill these in like this does that actually do anything that does actually I like that all right and then we're gonna put some andesite above it uh, obviously some chiseled andesite so we were going to want uh let's just grab a stack of those iron is something that's going to happen quite often so let's work it like this i hate it that it does that so i did learn that we can do this though so that's all good do we not have enough energy another three thousand okay well we can put some more coal in oh i got some iron out that's fine that's fine. As long as we got the one bit, that is entirely good. Okay, right, I need a stick. I have put a stick somewhere. There it is. Uh, we can make ourselves another chisel and get on with the diorite. Uh, andesite, sorry. Okay, I think I'm going to go for uh, pillars in the corner. We'll, we'll start like this. We're going to be quite wasteful with the uh, with the the chisel. It's, uh, it's no big one. It's no big one. We can always make more. Uh, the, the real question is, do I want to put the same texture across the top? I'm not sure that I do. Uh, I'm also not sure how I want to deal with this corner. Like maybe if we just do this and then push push another layer of texture backwards. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a good start. If we could get some sort of slab up top. What, what slabs do we have? Dark oak is definitely not the one we're going for, though. Hmm. What's going to have the weight to look like it's going to be holding that up? Um... I think maybe stone stairs. It, it's, it's a good start. We'll, we'll put four in. We'll see what it does. See if it, it's got the right balance or not. That is, if we don't just throw everything everywhere. 
Oh yeah, no, that, that, that blends in perfectly. Exactly what we're looking for. Let's just make another couple more then. Alright, now the next question of course is what do we put in the panels? Uh, I think we need a nice contrasting colour, something that kind of sticks out. Uh, we've not just started using a lot of diorite. I've just, I've just started feeling like we've got enough diorite to be doing stuff with. Uh, let's kind of do this like this. Can't really get through there, can we? That's okay though. No great bother. Uh, so let's let's try doing diorite. Do we have enough? We do have enough. Not quite enough to pull out a whole stack, but I'm not after a whole stack's worth. How much do you reckon we're after? Uh, that's two, eight, ten, twelve, something like that. So we're going to have enough to get playing with here. Uh, I have noticed this texture. I kind of like the look of. It's a it's a nice brick. It should play off the the stone quite well. Well, all the textures around it really. And that I think oh, as soon as I get up over here and put this last few blocks in place is the beginnings of our pretty project. I don't like the way that now sits in with everything. I don't. Things might need to change. Ta-da! Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Both designs have flaws, but I definitely prefer this one over the one that I just did. Uh, all I've done is pulled these blocks forwards and these blocks forward. Hey, that's that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Ah, wasted a bullet. That, that's terrible. Uh, that is definitely something we're going to have to get to next episode, is making more bullets and more guns. But... I think it's time for a quest that is long, long, long overdue. If we look inside the quest book, we've got this taking a closer look. Now, we have just cracked the secret of obsidian, or at least we did last episode, where uh, we've, we found out how much silicon dioxide silicon gives out. It was loads! I was, uh, at, I was at, honestly blown away. Uh, so we can start making these things here. So uh, the lenses, let's, let's go in here and have a look are all about glass, and glass is relatively simple to make in the synthesis machine, it's just four sets of four in the corner. If we uh, come over here, you'd have seen this uh, sterling generator ticking over, and it was filling this up with some power so that we could get on with this. Cool, so we've got lots of power stored up, we should be able to take out loads. 11 might be a good start. I've just installed this uh, table under here, so we need at least one of these. Now which one is this? This is the... Uh, concave lens. Okay, we only need one of those. We need two of the other type. Now, I believe that was like this. That's a plus. So we can make one. We, uh, we're we going to need to get more silicon dioxide out to get the other. I need an empty hand. Wow, it actually took nearly all the silicon dioxide. The, the container is now empty to make all the glass we needed. But this should finally be it. We should be able to get on with this quest now. I hope there's not too much more glass needed during this. Though we do have a healthy stack of obsidian over here. 70. So that's pretty good. Uh, the better to see you. We need to make a microscope lens. Now I believe that is these. Uh, in here, just in the pattern there. That's fine. That's great. Uh, I thought that was going to be the the horror moment where we actually needed an extra bit of glass. I'd be like, no, brilliant. Uh, I can see you clearly now. The actual microscope itself. So here we go. Uh, I've not looked up this this um, recipe before. So this is, this is going to be a new one on me. There it is. Uh, okay. Apart from the glass pane, which. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a bother. Everything else should be relatively easy to get going here. Uh, so let's see if we've got the six for that. Let, let's start with that. Yes, we do. That That's good. Um, all across the top and all across the middle. No. Was that not it? Was it like this then? I'm sure that's what it said. Am I, do, am I doing something wrong? Aha. I am. Very much. I was led astray by the normal, normal um, recipe. Boom. Okay, and then we need the iron. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Brilliant. Okay, so we lay these out here. This one, like so. And finally, oh, finally, we have a microscope. Now, I think I'm going to put it down the end here. Uh, let's have a look inside. So we have stuff. We have room for a book. How do we make that book? Is that something that's now... Aha! Chemist journal, energy cell, silica. Oh, we get an energy cell. Great. Well, because we get an energy. Ooh, ooh, my temperature's raising. Let's uh, let's just wander over here. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, because I get an energy cell here, I'm going to get this quarter of a heart. That takes us up to three quarters of a heart. We have nearly got back the life we were after. 
Ah, oh, wonderful. Chemist Journal, hey! So what's this? Is this somewhere to type and search? Wow, it is. It is. That's, uh, that's going to take some, uh, some exploring, but I will do that on my own. And I think, yeah, I'm going to put some stuff away and we'll get on with another quest. Will you, will you look at the spider down there? He was... Look, you see he's following me around. He knows where I am. And he's in a little cave down there. I was down here patching this area up. And I spent a little time watching this guy's behaviour now. There is definitely something underneath this floor here. Uh, I know he's not up top. I've gone up to check that. And as we are in full uh, battle regalia... I don't see what's wrong in us trying to go down and fight. Now, obviously, we might have some silverfish on the way down, so we've got to be careful of that. But, yeah, there we go. This is where the real cave is. This is this is the bit we've got to actually watch out for. Now, what are we going to do about him? Is he really, like, worth worrying about? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, gap here. Let's come around here, try and find our way down. That's pretty good. This is a, a good killing zone. Oh, it's like an actual cave system. Back. Oh, 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 I haven't got any bar blocks on my bar. This is a very bad idea. Let's go this way. Okay, so the creeper was my main worry. He's gone. Um, skeleton. Uh, zombies are no real big threat. Here's something on my bar. Okay, suddenly we're back to being a nice laid out system. What did that creeper blow out? Nothing? Nothing? Are we really safe? Okay, well let's just go for a little bit of a wander. This might be the, what we do instead of... Oh, there are some bugs around. That means there's some uh, some bees around somewhere. Yeah, this might be what we do instead of going on a on a quest. Well, this is a quest. What, what am I on about? Um, uh, terrifying. Terrifying. Really should have made some more... Uh, not armor. Weapons. Ah, oh, he's on to me. He's on to me. Let's put a little sissy bar across and see if we can't deal with him. Ah, in our own way. There we go. Look at this. Brilliant. And we let him come forwards. And we have him again. Oh, yeah, no. UHC style. What are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? Ah, oh, he's useless. He's useless. Okay, we've got to deal with that, that spider. That shouldn't be a problem. I've just seen another skeleton. That's all right. As long as we keep up the same... Same tactic. This should all be fine, right? Oh, 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 oh. There are horrible monsters everywhere. Horrible monsters. Oh, there he is. That's what I want to do. I want to set him on fire. Once they're on fire, we can deal with them easy, right? Fire zombie. Oh, that looks worrying. It looks worrying. So, all in all, this is quite a scary place, but I think we can hold our own here. It's the spider. Like, I've really got to sort my my bar out. Let's move that over there, that there, that there, that there. Okay, even the axe is in the wrong place. Okay. It looks clear, in the words of Riddick. Oh, a bit of damage, that's alright. Why won't you die? Oh, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. I think I'm handling it well, quite well, yeah. Run around uh, clicking, click spam. That's going to be different in 1.9. I presume everyone's looking forward to that. Uh, I hear some slime somewhere. There's nothing really to worry about. I don't think deep caving is really what I should be doing here, but it's where I'm at. It's what, what's going on. Uh, I don't really have anything to make any more uh, torches. I really want to fill this hole in just in case. We're going to make a nice secure zone if we can. And we're going to come back and keep exploring this place out. Wow. Ooh, that was intense. There were some bugs down that way. That's fine. We can deal with that. We're going to leave this too high wall here. I know it's not great spider defense, but that's that's okay. We can deal with that. We can deal with that. Where did I come down from? Up there. So this needs to be made more secure. That's fine. But we will we will find a way down here. If I can find a way back up. Uh, I'm going to block this up somehow. Going to block this up somehow. Let's, let's have a look around. This is the one I'm going to block up. And then I'm going to just do this here. Uh, we will come back to make sure it's okay in a bit. Oh, I'm stuck. All right, we are technically out of time, but this is so close to being an explored out cave. I couldn't just leave it like this. Uh, we might find some horrors down here. Who knows? Who knows? Actually, who knows? I mean, this could be anything. This could even be the end of one of my one of my lives. We'll, 
we will not know until we get up here and have a look. I mean, do you think this is going to go on forever, or do you think this is going to be quite a small little cave system? Uh, it is a small little cave system. All right, well... With that, finally, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. We actually got quite a bit done today. Um, it, it doesn't really feel like it because it's been like three segments and, and that's felt all choppy and stuff. But we have actually got quite a bit done. There's also sand here. Oh, wow. There is sand here, which is quite possibly the biggest like win of the day. Huh. Next time, we are going to be going through some of the... Well, for one, we're going to be doing the gun line. This is definitely something we need to do. I'm down to my last clip of ammo. I don't think this one actually goes in there. So that's something we're going to have to actually do. So, until then, thanks for joining me. And I'm going to say bye-bye.